Hello, welcome to Maths with Lloydy. Today we're looking at uh, question eight and question nine on the AQA level three certificate core maths, the mathematical studies. Uh, we're at 90 subscribers at the moment. Uh, one of my year eights tried to hack YouTube and it went up and it went down again, but we are at 90. So please like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more core maths videos or you just want to see some solutions for the core maths papers. Um, question eight. So there are 120 applicants for a new television show. The table shows information about the ages. Um, we've got ages here, frequencies here, and I've drawn the triangle already just up here. This is um, a formula triangle for frequency density, class width, and frequency. So we know that the class width times by the frequency density will give us our frequency when we put it into the histogram. So we've got class width of seven, uh, 15, 10, and 20. And to calculate our frequency density, we need to do the frequency divided by the class width. 14 divided by 7 is 2. 36 divided by 15, again, we do calculator for this, so we're not taking any chances, gives us 2.4. This one is 4.8, and then this should be 1.1, but I'm going to check it. Yeah, 1.1. Okay, so on this, we now need to draw our diagram. Um, let's just zoom out, make sure that I've got this right. So 18, oh my word, let's zoom in. So that's going to go there. Goes to 25, am I right? Zoom back out again. Yep, to 25. The next one's going to be at 40. We've then got 50 and 70. I don't know if I'm going to get both of these questions in. I might just have to do a really good job on question eight and really good job on question nine. Um, okay, so a height here, frequency density, class width is seven, frequency density is two. There we go. So we're going to do all these. Remember when you're drawing these, you are 100% using a ruler, and you're not going to have wobbly lines like myself. Uh, 2.4, this one below there. Where's my class width that comes into here like that? There we go. And then next one, 4.8. Oh, wow, that goes up quite high. There we go. Sorry if you hear any background noise. A few people... It's just in the school might be burning down. Um, no, I don't think it is. There's like, oh, do you smell smoke? Can you smell fire? Is it an electrical fire? No. In fact, I did start recording this, and one of my colleagues burst in. Thank him for that later. There we go. So that's at 1.1. So there's our histogram. Um, really happy with that. So two marks. Happy days. Okay, so on the right-hand side, part B, 120 applicants were all given a task to complete. The histogram represents the times they took to complete the task. Those applicants who completed the task in 18 minutes or less were selected for the show. Estimate the number of applicants who were selected for the show. So the first thing I really want to know is um, basically what each of these are worth. I haven't got any frequency density on my diagram. So we've got height of what would be, I'd say, if I could do one two, three, and four. So this is 0.1 times 15. So that's 1.5. That can't be right, but bear with me with this. This is 10 to 1.4. So that's 14 people. 10 to 2.3. So that's 23. 5 to 3.5. Uh, work that out. 5 times 3.5 is... 17 and a half, and then 10 to 0 0.4 is four people. Okay, these numbers I'm going to add together, um, add 1.5, add the 14, add the 23, and add the four. That gives me 60 overall. So that means I've got to double everything that I've got. So um, this means that this is going to be two, four, six and eight on this scale and then these numbers need doubling so the four will become an eight i'm going to do this on top 17.5 times two is 35 definitely going to do a different video question nine 28 and then that one will be three and then we'll get rid of these i don't want to rush this work and make any errors all right so there are values so 18 minutes or less that means it's from 18 and it's going across that way. So to work out my 18, I'm going to have like a rectangle and it's got a width of three and a frequency density of seven. That one goes all the way up to seven. Three times seven is 21 people and we need to add the eight. So that's going to be 29. 
I'm just going to write that here. 3 times 7 is 21. 21 plus the 8 is 29. Let me just double check that. So it's the task. 18 minutes or less was selected for the show. Estimate the numbers. So it goes across there. I'm sure quite a few of the marks will be for work at the frequency density scale. Okay. 8C. The television manager wants to interview some of the applicants about their experience of doing the task. Here's some more information about the applicants. The manager wants a sample of 50 applicants stratified by age group and gender. How many females from the age group, 40 to 50, should he select? So we are going to have females from the age group, 40 to 50. So this is here. Um, I need to know the total. It should be 120, but I'm just going to add those numbers up again just to make sure that nobody decided to leave the application process. 120, good. So 36 out of 120 is the proportion of people that are female and between 40 and 50. And if I multiply that fraction by 50, it's going to give me the amount of people that I need to ask. So 360 divided by 120 times it by 50, it's a whole number, which is brilliant. And that gives me 15 people. Okay, so let's go check back at my recording. I'm about six minutes in, I probably well, six and a half minutes. Probably need to stop that now because question nine is a biggie. It's worth lots of marks and we will need to go through that. So there we go. There's HC for you. Um, hopefully you've liked this video. Hopefully this has helped you if you're going through this paper with your teacher in class or you're just revising. I hope that this has been helpful. Please like and subscribe the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.